Who is it? Stripper Grim. <laughs> Tag, you're it. Shouldn't you put him in a brown paper bag and set him on fire? I've never slept on an air mattress before. No lumbar support whatsoever. Maybe you'd be happier on a park bench. Well, I don't see any way to get a park bench in here. Do you want to switch? No, that's fine. I'm perfectly comfortable sleeping on a bouncy castle. Get out of bed, we're switching. But now, only if you want to. Just get in the bed. What's going on? Are you boys roughhousing? We're just talking, Ma. If you don't settle down right now, I'm not gonna let you have any more sleepovers. God's sake, Ma, I'm 27 years old. It's not even a school night. <laughs> Something now? Meh. A poster of Halle Berry's a little unnerving. So don't look at it. She's like my fourth favorite Catwoman. No kidding. Yeah, Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, and then her. What about Lee Merriweather? Oh, I forgot about Lee Merriweather. Well, I'm glad that's settled. That makes Halle Berry my fifth favorite Catwoman. It's Julie Newmar, Michelle Pfeiffer, Eartha Kitt, Lee Merriweather. Please, I'm begging you, go to sleep. I'm trying. I'm counting Catwomen. <laughs> she did make a fine mutant in the X-Men movies, though. Oh, for God's sake. She's not my favorite of the X-Men. In order, that would be Wolverine, Cyclops. Oh, wait, I forgot Professor X. Professor X, Wolverine. Cyclops, Iceman, then Storm, Angel, the Beat. No, wait, Nightcrawler. <laughs> Professor X, Nightcrawler, Wolverine, Cyclops, Iceman, then Storm, Angel. I'm coming. Hey! <laughs> there he is. There, my old buddy, bud, bud. <laughs> well, I have no respect for Leslie as a scientist or a human being, for that matter. <laughs> We have to concede her undeniable expertise in the interrelated fields of promiscuity and general sluttiness. Thank you. My point is that Tinkerbell just needs to get her some. Some what? Oh, yes, some sexual intercourse. I'll take the bullet. <laughs> Excuse me, this whole idea is insane. Yeah, yeah, enough debate. I'm going to take action. Excuse me. Are you currently involved in a sexual relationship? No. Would you like to be? Uh, sure, why not? Sheldon? <laughs> Can I have your phone number? Uh, yeah. Yeah. There, problem solved. Dumbass. Do you remember to ask for the chicken with broccoli to be diced, not shredded? Yes. Even though the menu description specifies shredded? Yes. Brown rice, not white? Yes. Did you stop at the Korean grocery and get the good hot mustard? Yes. Did you pick up the low sodium soy sauce from the market? Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. What took you so long? Just sit down and eat. Fine. All right, it's shredded. What do you want me to do? Turn on the ignition and shift into drive. I haven't fastened my seatbelt yet. <laughs> okay, fasten your seatbelt. <laughs> Click. <laughs> now, are there airbags? You don't need airbags. Dude, what does a simulated van rear ends me? I'll hit you in the face with a pillow. <laughs> Okay, now shift into drive. You pull out slowly into traffic. Oh! 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 
thank you. Sorry. Excuse me. My bad. Student driver. Did you manage to get on the second floor of the Glendale Galleria? I don't know. I was on the Pasadena freeway and missed my exit, flew off the overpass, and one thing led to another. Maybe you want to give it a rest and try again tomorrow. No. I quit. Oh, the pet store. Remind me to compliment Wallow it's on the software. It's amazingly detailed. Wolowitz needs a strike if he has any hopes of catching up with Sheldon Cooper, who is dominating in the ninth frame with a career best 68. Hey guys! <laughs> that doesn't count! Do over! Do over! There are no do overs in Wee Bowling. <laughs> there are always do overs when my people play sports. Where were you that's more important than Wee Bowling Night? Actually, I was... It's a rhetorical question. There is nothing more important than Wee Bowling Night. Come on, it's just a video game. And we suck at it. <gasps> nice motivational speech from the team captain. Maintaining five friendships promises to be a Herculean task, so I'm going to have to let one of you go. <laughs> me, me, let it be me. Leonard, you are my roommate, my source of transportation, and you help me fold my sheets when they come out of the dryer. You are safe. Can I whistle? Don't be silly. <laughs> Howard, you do not have a PhD. Your cologne is an assault on the senses, and you're not available for video games during the Jewish high holidays. Guilty as charged, I'm out. No. You two are safe. Oh, come on, what do I have to do? Okay, you know what? I see where this is going. I'm not one of you guys. I'm not a scientist, so just Penny, tell Penny, me what Penny, I'm... everything you're saying is true, but please allow me to continue. Raj, you're out. <laughs> it's a good question. <laughs> While you do provide a certain cultural diversity to an otherwise homogenous group, your responses to the questionnaire were truly disturbing. How could you for a moment think that my favorite amino acid is glutamine? He had lysine, but changed it. Yeah. Shoulda, woulda, coulda, Raj. <laughs> this appears significantly more monolithic than it did on my laptop. <laughs> One expects to see hominids learning to use bones as weapons. <laughs> you afraid of heights, Cooper? Hardly. Uh, fear of heights is illogical. Fear of falling, on the other hand, is prudent and evolutionary. <laughs> what would you say is the minimum altitude I need to achieve to cement our newfound friendship? Come on, they have birthday parties here. Little kids climb this. <laughs> Little kid hominids, perhaps. <laughs> So is this your entire job? <laughs> Parents must be so proud. Let's go, Koopa. Coming, Kripke. Okay. Harness seems to be secure. Small amount of incontinence just now, but the website said that's to be expected. <laughs> okay. This isn't 
isn't so bad. It's a bit like vertical swimming. Hey, look at you, Cooper. You're almost halfway to the top. I am? I, I was wrong. It is a fear of heights. You all right there, Cooper? Not really. I feel somewhat like an inverse tangent function that's approached an asymptote. Are you saying you're stuck? What part of inverse tangent function approaching an asymptote did you not understand? I just did all of it. I'm not a moron. Just keep going. Yeah, I don't think I can. Well, then climb back down. No, that doesn't seem any more likely. So what's your plan, Cooper? Well, it's not exactly a plan, but I think I'm going to pass out. <laughs> Stu the cockatoo is new at the zoo. <laughs> Author Sarah Carpenter lives in Fort Wayne, Indiana, with her husband and best friend, Mark, and their cockatoo, Stu. Probably makes her an expert in making friends, wouldn't you agree? I don't like birds. They scare me. Me too. Most people don't see it. <laughs> what are you reading? Curious George. Oh, I do like monkeys. Curious George's monkey. Somewhat anthropomorphized, but yes. <laughs> Say. Maybe sometime you and I could go see monkeys together. Would you like that? Okay. Sheldon, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm making friends with this little girl. What's your name? Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. I'm your new friend, Sheldon. No, you're not. Let's go. Uh, <laughs> we were really hitting it off. Uh, don't look up those cameras. <laughs> so what do you think? I'm very tempted. I'm just not sure it's appropriate with my son's roommate. Normally, I'd feel the same way, but based on everything I've observed about us, I can't help but speculate we'd be very good together. True. I've had a similar observation. Certainly something I could never do with my husband. I was hesitant the first time I tried it, but I experienced an unanticipated and remarkable release of endorphins. <laughs> It's quite satisfying. I see what you're doing. You're appealing to the neuroscientific researcher in me. You see right through me, don't you? Only when you're in a CAT scanner. <laughs> oh, I'm night. Oh, I'm night. I'm night. Oh, every night. Oh, every night. Oh, Fresh from the cleaners, good as new. Really? Great. Sheldon, look, good as new. From that key maker, I highly doubt it. <laughs> Come on, Sheldon, just give it a try. All right. There, nice and comfy cozy, zero, zero, zero. There's one more zero. <laughs> you forgot the time parameter. Sit on the damn couch. <laughs> Nope. What do you mean, nope? What's wrong with it? Nothing. It's what's wrong with him. Uh, it's exactly the, the, the same. Penny, Penny, I think I know what to do. Sheldon, I have some bad news. More? I'm afraid so. You know the cashew chicken I get you on Monday nights? Yes, from Szechuan Palace. Szechuan Palace closed two years ago. What? Where did my cashew chicken come from? Golden Dragon. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, this isn't right. No, our food always comes in Szechuan Palace containers. 
Yeah, well, before they went out of business, I bought 4,000 containers. <laughs> I keep them in the trunk of my car. <laughs> but... Oh, this changes everything. I thought that might take his mind off the cushion. What's real? What isn't? How can I know? You did make that up, right? But God, I wish I had. Leonard? Yeah, buddy. I still don't like this cushion. Okay, I got a box, but there's no key in here, just letters. That's the wrong box. Put it back. Oh, Sheldon, are these letters from your grandmother? Don't read those letters. Oh, look, she calls you Moon Pie. That is so cute. Put down the letters! <laughs> Hey, Penny, it's Leonard. Hey, Leonard, how's the train ride? Delightful. <laughs> Listen, I don't know what you're doing right now, but there are little bubbles forming in the corner of Sheldon's mouth. Okay, yeah, I kind of crossed a line. Put him back on. Thank you. I'm back. What up, Moon Pie? <laughs> no one calls me Moon Pie, but me, Ma. <laughs> hey, Penny, Leonard again. <laughs> Okay, I found the box, now what? You're holding a Japanese puzzle box, which takes 10 precise moves to open. First, locate the panel with the diamond pattern and slide the center portion one millimeter to the left. Then, on the opposite end of the box, slide the entire panel down two millimeters. You'll hear a slight click. Hang on, Sheldon, do you have any emotional attachment to this box? No, it's a novelty I ordered off the internet. Did you hear the click? Not yet. There it is. Very well. But if this leads to opiates or hallucinogenics, you're going to have to answer to my mother. Before this banana hits the ground. <laughs> zoom, 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 zoom! 